Hello everyone, back to you in today's first video, doing the December month head forecast for today's first video. Uh, so yeah, we're going to have a review of November's forecast, and we'll have a little sneak peek at the end uh, of the video for January 2021. And in between, we'll have a look at CFSB2 and CANSIPS uh, for December. Can't show Beijing crimes in today, the uh, website is accessible, inaccessible. Uh, so I can't share that, but we have got uh, CFSV2 and CANSIPS to show you, and I shall get on with that for you uh, very shortly. Just to say that um, coming up later on today, we're going to have the weekend forecast. Always on a Saturday, we're going to have your uh, detailed weekend look ahead. And uh, we'll also have a 10 to 14 day video update as well. Channel members, if you're a channel member at 5 o'clock uh, this afternoon, you'll be able to check into our channel members live stream. And uh, we're going to be uh, having a little bit of a chat and a little bit of fun uh, for an hour or so uh, from 5 o'clock this afternoon. So I shall see you all uh, then. Uh, right, okay, so let's review the uh, November forecast as well. So the November forecast has been a bust. We uh, very much so. We predicted a uh, an average uh, temperature uh, anomaly for November 2020, uh, masking sort of swings between very mild and cold conditions. What we actually came away with was just a very mild uh, month. So this is a temperature anomaly uh, for November 2020. You can see that quite clearly in all areas it was significantly milder uh, than average. The warmest anomalies to average in the north and the east, or the mildest anomalies to average in the north from the east, but even in the west and the southwest, uh, generally the temperature was around a degree or so above the 81 2010 average. It was also a rather dry of an average month through many uh, northern, eastern, and central parts of the country, a little bit wetter in the uh, west and in the northwest. So, uh, yes, yeah, slightly wetter than average for the west and the northwest, but, but most places, majority of places coming out. Uh, with a drier than average month. We predicted like a quite a changeable month and we said that the temperature would be quite close to average with colder and milder weather alternating. So it wasn't it wasn't right. The November forecast uh, wasn't very good at all. So that one definitely uh, was a miss rather than a hit. Definitely so. I'm sorry about that. We should try to do better with uh, December. So this is the 700 mil of our height anomaly for December uh, 2020 from the CFS V2. And uh, it's generally going for an unsettled month, but not a traditional sort of westerly zonal month. Going for like below average height, low pressure from the north, extending down the western side of Europe with a mid-Atlantic ridge uh, just here pulled out into the... Uh, into the western part of the uh, North Atlantic. And quite a significant area of high pressure over here as well. That's the Siberian high uh, over there. So the jet stream is going to be doing something a little bit like that. But we are placed on the cold side of the jet, therefore, with this area of low pressure sort of sliding energy and the jet stream northwest to southeast. So it is an unsettled month, but it is, it is potentially a rather colder month than, than a traditional sort of unsettled uh, westerly zonal Atlantic drift. Uh, month. So the temperature anomaly uh, for December 2020 shows average or no signal for most parts of Western Europe. The milder temperature is across the far north, east and east of Europe. But out in the west, where we've got the low pressure and the jet stream sort of digging in, in that sort of fashion, and allowing at least sometimes some uh, northerly influences to come into these areas of low pressure, making them rather colder, it means that the temperature is lower out in west. We don't see the normal sort of significant mild and average month that the CFS tends to predict uh, being forecast here. It isn't going for a cold month, though. Let's put that on the table. The CFS is not forecasting a cold and average month, although then again, it very rarely does. The uh, precipitation anomaly uh, is quite interesting as well. So you can see it is like wetter than average around northern Spain, western France, and down into southwestern parts of England. Uh, dry of an average light from Germany over towards the eastern side of Europe, also looking pretty dry over towards uh, Norway or up towards Norway. So it looks like there's going to be some higher pressure through there and uh, around there. And then, of course, we've got quite a bit of high pressure over here as well. So many parts of Europe dominated by high pressure, but out in the west... Uh, I think, again, we've got this north, which is actually lining up northwest to southeast, which means that low pressure is coming through here. It, it still looks quite an unsettled month, but it's just a more uh, a colder version of unsettled weather compared to the traditional 
uh, unsettled uh, southwesterlies that we, we normally associate with, uh, with winter in uh, northern Europe. Uh, this is how Kansas is looking, very similar actually from Kansas. It's a mean sea level pressure anomaly, supposed being 500 millibar heights, but it's very similar with again a mid Atlantic ridge extending up towards uh, Greenland or Southern Greenland anyway. Uh, an area of low pressure of sort of across the western side of Europe through here, and then a big ridge of high pressure to the northeast. So like uh, the Siberian high extending a ridge into Scandinavia. And so again, this means that the jet stream sort of lines up northwest to southeast. We've got a dip in the jet stream within the uh, 500 bit of our flow. And, uh, and so it's unsettled, but it, but it is a slightly colder variety of unsettled weather compared to what we typically get uh, in, in a normal uh, winter pattern. So the temperature anomaly, again with uh, Kansas, is no better than average. It's actually colder than average out in the Atlantic. So not a particularly cold month being forecast, but certainly not a particularly mild month either, just very close to average. And overall probably hinting at being rather on the uh, wetter side, if anything. So, uh, so yeah, we see that the, the uh, precipitation anomaly does look a little bit wet to average, particularly to our southwest and west. There's the mid-Atlantic ridge with dry conditions through the uh, middle of the North Atlantic uh, as well. And so an unsettled month is indicated here, but one that could be somewhat cooler to colder. So I think that's what we'll be going for with our uh, temper forecast. It is in line with the winter forecast as well. So, so we've got the temper forecast in line with winter forecast. And we're suggesting that December should be a rather colder month. Not a December to remember. Not a December 2010. We are not seeing most sort of levels of northern blocking that are going to lock us into the freezer for, for several weeks and bring copious amounts of snow and severe weather as we had in December 2010. It's not that. It is a rather colder December than we've had for a while, but it could well be the coldest December for 10 years. It could be the coldest December since the December to remember. That's probably more due to the fact that December has generally been very mild uh, since 2010. We haven't had a cold December really since um, 2010. Uh, so, so it's not a December to remember, but it possibly is the coldest December since the December to remember. And just a rather seasonable December, there could be some wintry weather at times, there could definitely be some snow, some places already had snow, as I'm recording this video on the morning of the 4th of December, some places have had more snow already than they have had at any point through last winter, so, so yeah, it's just like a more seasonable December than we've had for quite a while, with some snow at times and just a rather colder feel than we've been used to for a little while. Uh, so temperature knowledge is probably coming out a little bit below average in most parts of the country. That's more particularly for the north. The south could be very close to, possibly even slightly above average, you know, around half a degree uh, or within half a degree above average for the south, maybe. But then again, it might be just on that other side of average, but probably quite close to average in the south, but colder in the north and just generally our coldest uh, or coolest scent than we've had uh, for quite a few years. Snow occurs at times, again, particularly so in the north, a little bit could come down into the south as far as Chris is concerned, as we said in the, uh, in the winter forecast, like Christmas has an increased chance of being cold because December overall is a rather colder month this year. But but we may get unlucky or we may get lucky depending on your point of view and have a very mild Christmas day, you know, just one day within 31. So we can't say what's going to happen on Christmas really other than if you're in a slightly colder month, then obviously your chance of a cold Christmas is increased overall on average compared to say December 2015. That's much we can say about Christmas uh, really. And, uh, and as far as pre precipitation is concerned, this is a rather unsettled month, despite the fact it's a bit colder. So uh, rainfall could come out, or precipitation could come out quite close to, or maybe ever so slightly uh, above average, particularly later uh, in the month, maybe. Um, but uh, but yeah, I think just a more seasonal feel uh, about this December. And snow will probably occur a little bit more regularly um, for many of us than, than we've had, uh, particularly in December. Uh, for quite some time. Uh, just a very quick sneak peek at uh, January. So here we go. This is how January is shaping up. 
So this is just a, a from a surface feature. This is just a traditional zonal and very mild month with high pressure extending uh, from the Azores into southern Europe. Deep low pressure pushes over Europe. See the difference. See the difference with this. Low pressure is light over Greenland and Iceland. Now the jet stream is on a traditional west east or southwest to northeast pattern with the ridge uh, strengthening through like the middle of the Atlantic into southern Europe and the Azores, which which would deliver us would draw drive us into a classic zonal month and would be significantly milder than average if it came up. But of course, it's a long way out. And we know that CFS is always wanting to bring in a uh, very mild westerly winds. So, so we should wait and see about January. But certainly December, I think, is looking a little bit more um, interesting from a colder perspective, if that is what you like, which not everybody does. But, but I think this December could have some colder outbreaks and a little bit of snow at times. Uh, but not a December to remember, not a 2010. Right, so that's what we can do here. Of course, we will evaluate this forecast at the beginning of January, January when we issue the January month head forecast, and that's how we do it at uh, Gazweb. It's going to be late, back later on with your weekend forecast. We're going to have a 10 to 14 day update, and they'll be rounding off this Saturday night with a channel member's live stream. So if you are a channel member, then uh, check in to our channel member stream from uh, 5 o'clock, that we always do on the first Saturday of the month. Uh, but for the December, for the December uh, 2020 forecast, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.